Hi, we are back with the best parenting advice we ever received. Um, a couple of days ago, we shared the worst parenting advice we ever received as we're heading into our parenting loop next weekend, part class, part group, uh, still accepting registrations um, at the wellnesspoint.com slash cloops. Um, but my advice was, might have been the only, like first parenting advice I ever received after having a baby. Um, my oldest daughter's birth was kind of traumatic. And so she was, I was induced on a Monday. She was born on a Tuesday. We were released from the hospital on Friday and I was having some issues with feeding. We were supplementing, but I really wanted to breastfeed. And I remember calling my mom Friday night, our first night home and saying, you know, the baby's had formula and she's satisfied. And the lactation consultant told me I should be up every two hours tonight pumping, even if she's asleep to, you know, keep things going for me. And I hadn't gotten a full night's sleep in probably a week and I was exhausted. And I think she could, my mom could hear all of that on my voice. And she said, just sleep. So my parenting advice is not just sleep, although I also think that's very good parenting advice. <laughs> it's so yeah. sleep. Um, but that's not always, you're not always able to do that. Um, but I think what I took away from that was that one night off of pumping wasn't going to destroy our breastfeeding relationship. And it didn't. We went on to exclusively breastfeed for the rest of the 15 months. Um, but also just that the once off days don't undo everything you've done up until that point and they don't mess your kids up for life. So <laughs> if they go to stay with the grandparents and they have ice cream for breakfast, it's not the end of the world. Or if, um, you know, you're usually eating very organic and you get fast food once in a while, it doesn't undo all of the good that you have done. And part of what we do at Cardigan Academy is to help people get back on track with their families if they've had a one-off day or week or month or a year <laughs> this year, it's been a lot of that. So just permission that um, the decisions you make are fluid and that you once in a while you can do things differently. And it doesn't mean that you've made that choice set in stone for the rest of their lives. Yeah, and that the, the thing that matters is the overarching, right? Like if the overarching continuous message and reality for your kids is love and stability or whatever the thing is that one day is not gonna, you know, the one time you lost your cool or the one time, I mean, stuff does stick in our heads and stuff, but when it's when it's balanced and tempered by so much good, it, it's it's all gonna be okay. Um, so mine is uh, comes from my kids are older, and so we've had many years of the whole social media, phone, computer, you know, conversations. And uh, some of the best advice I've ever gotten about that is is there's a lot. There's a lot of specific things that we will actually have an entire week of our parenting loop dedicated to so many specific strategies about this so that it's not a battle in your home so that there's balance. Um, but we've had so many good conversations about, I got the advice that basically it's not so much about uh, arbitrary time limits so much as it is about balance. And so when it comes to screen time, um, we've had very few I'm not gonna say none because it's a learning curve for all of us. This is all new to us. I didn't grow up with the internet. Um, I know you didn't either, like this is all new territory, but it wasn't so much about having so many like one hour of this and it can only be this long or whatever. Um, it, it was more, it's more to do with are things balanced, you know, like play video games, be online, be on social media. Like, are you sleeping well? Are you eating well? Are you exercising? Are you keeping in touch with your friends? Um, when those things are in balance, then it's really not that big a deal that they're enjoying their screen time. So um, that was it. It was just um, really good advice that has made a huge difference. I also learned a really cool tip about how to help your kids wrap it up on screens and move on to the next thing, whether it's dinner or whatever, that I'm very excited to share in our clubs because it's a game changer. Um, but it's just little things like that, navigating that social media stuff with um, a healthy amount of balance and respect for who your kids are. And we will talk so much more. About, uh, we could do an entire thing just on that. So that's, uh, that's mine. Yeah, so all this and more at the Parenting Club, which starts on Saturday.
Saturday was that March 27th? 7th? Yeah. Right? Yeah. So if you have any questions about registering or um, the flow of what it looks like, we have a lot of other videos where we talk about those things or you can reach out to us here on our Facebook page. Thanks for joining us. Bye. Sorry, hit the button. Now bye. <laughs>